Good day, everybody. I hope you're having a great day so far. David, hey, everybody. Oliver, hi. I hope you guys are having a great Thursday. Um, it is wonderful to see all of you. As you can see, we are done with the light and art challenge. So we got a new background, or it's not new. Sandrine, hello. It's one that I put together last year, I believe it is. Um, I made everything here, but that's kind of old. Probably know that. Um, let's go ahead and start with some introductions. Sandrine says, we're lurling. It's kind of like curling and whirling together. We're lurling. <laughs> Have you seen the numbers for the Arts in Light project? I have. I have. Um, let's take a look. Sandrine is talking about our project right here, Light and Art. Um, we will do a quick run through in a moment, but Sandrine is talking about the fact that we've got 103 um, views already on that. So it's been out for less than a week. So, pretty good. Bernd, hello. Good to see you. Uh, hello, everybody. My name is Sean Kozel. I'm a photographer. I am based in Germany. If you're watching this on Behance, you can click on my icon that's up there at the top, and it'll take you to my Behance page. If you're watching this on Twitch, YouTube, or Facebook, you are going to see a Linktree link that looks like that. Uh, you can click on it and you're going to find me every place on the interwebs. If you have work or questions that you'd like to share with me, Arshia, hello, um, you can join my Discord from there. If you're watching this on Behance, you can just scroll right below this stream and it says something like, join Sean's Behance. I think it's quite simple like that. You can check that out. Uh, if you like what I do, please feel free to subscribe and or buy me a cup of joe. Very nice. Um, yeah, I think that's about it. Uh, I've done, including the relink streams, I have done over 300 streams. And speaking of relink, let me... Open this up really quick. Give me a second. You can do it. There you go. Okay. I am going to jump back over into my Discord. And jumping back into the Discord, the announcement for next week is... Next week's stream. Our very own David Cousins in chat right now. Um, that is going to be a lot of fun. We're going to be talking about um, nerdy stuff. And David says, I know that guy. The, the one thing I'm excited about this stream that was quite funny is with the what's what stream um david and i were talking and uh i asked him if he would want to be on my stream and he could teach me how to be how to nerd out a little bit um so it's going to be a lot of fun i don't know if david will do any drawing i haven't asked him to that's not the point of the stream um, but we will be looking at David's work. And speaking of David's work, jump into community artwork. David finished the finished version. Dang. <laughs> Dang. That's that's all I got. Smooth segue. <clears throat> I'm a pro. Oliver says this is awesome. It is. There's just, it, it's ah, stunning. It's amazing. And the thing that really blows me away, David, 
Okay, we've seen your line work, we've seen the progression, and we can actually come back here. David was nice enough to actually show, for those of you that may have missed it, we've seen, let's, let's just open this up. Let's open these up. Not that, you don't need to see that. Okay. So, David was nice enough to show with us, the community, the line art, to the flat color, to the full render. You see the sketch and you say, can it get any better? And then the guy is putting colors in. I know, I know. It's amazing to me because I did not expect it to go from this flat color to this I, the color of the choices are amazing it's dynamic it's so great and i would not i i, I don't have the bravery to do that <laughs> to to use a color scheme like this um optimus prime obviously has a lot of red going on but everything else it's awesome it's that's just awesome so one more time sketch black color final bam That's all I got to say. So join David <laughs> next week on my relink stream. And um, maybe we'll get to see some more of David's work. Actually, I know we'll get to see more of David's work, but we'll also get to talk with David. Steven, hello. We'll get to talk to David and um, just get some insight. See what's 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 what what's new. What's new with David. So, so cool. All right. Talking to me is the real guffed. <laughs> oh, gift. Talking to me is the real gift. I, I'll agree with that. Yeah, I'll take that. Oliver says, David, I ordered one of your t-shirts the other day. What Oliver may be thinking of is another great segue if you come over here to your shop links on my discord everybody within the community has been sharing their shop links so speaking of david david has a relatively new it's been out for uh three four months a kofi 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 however you want to pronounce it so you can definitely check that out David is saying, ooh, where from? That's a valid question. Kofi. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, I know that I have um, a, a very large number of people from the United Kingdom within my community. And as an American, if anything that comes out of my mouth, I always have to say, just take it with a grain of salt. Please, just take it with a grain of salt. <laughs> now, on that note, I am going to wait for chat to blow up. Let me get to where I need to go. Uh, like Oregon instead of Oregon. So my wife today, uh, she she opens up um, CNN and uh, she's like, "You have to read this. You have to say bobbles, Sean." Uh, uh, Oliver says, "I mean, I've always taken everything you say with a pinch of salt." Yeah, 
She's like, you have to read this and ask your UK people what they think. If they're all up in arms. And I cannot believe that the US Embassy turned around and said that they microwave their tea. <laughs> so please. Yes, the salt and the tea thing. Yes. Um, I, I don't drink hot tea, so that I know that's strike one. Um, <clears throat> but I don't have any input. Sandrine says, I also microwave my tea and I don't care. <laughs> David says, microwaving tea. Um, all right. I, I had to bring it up. I wanted to see if everybody was as up in arms as, as what CNN was saying. I mean, why... Why are the embassies getting involved? Come on. <laughs> I'm aghast. Oh, oh my. Salt. <laughs> I can see David. Okay, we're going to let's continue on. We got stuff to do today. <clears throat> well, Sandrine says hot water is hot water. Obviously, I microwave the water first, then the tea, then put the tea bag. Uh, the funny I, I saw a clip on the news today that um, um, the, this reporter was like, well, the first thing is it's an American that says it. Um, and so right there, obviously, they show their ignorance. And the second thing is you're talking about a country that probably uses warm tap water to make their tea. Lydia, hello. David says, my re relink is going to be me processing the trauma of microwaving tea. Day okay, we can talk about it, David. If you have something to get off your chest, I'm, I'm with that. Uh, you have to remember, Sean, outrage in the UK is just... Oh, loud. Oh, okay. <laughs> Uh, Lydia, oh, Lydia comes in and the first, oh my God, please don't microwave water for tea. And yes, yes, yes. Congratulations to Lydia. Some of you may not know this. Um, so let's get back. Thank you for bringing that up, Sandrine. Uh, we gave away a few prizes for the light and art challenge and the main prize, which was a one year subscription to the creative cloud went to Frank. Second prize, which was a bug pack, went to Stuart, and the punniest pun uh, went to Lydia. So, congratulations, Lydia. I don't think I got a chance to say that to you yet. And I think it was the bug pack was from Michelle, and I think Sandrine put together a series of her cards, which again, talking about the shop links. Um, it could be some of these cards right here. The foil holiday cards. I don't know. Possible. <sighs> Sandrine says the tea is not generally super posh tea. So honestly, microwave versus kettle doesn't make a difference. Gareth, hello. <clears throat> All right. We'll jump back into the light and art in a minute. Uh, we have Jan. Jan says, hi everyone. After pushing my 3D projects last year, I felt like I almost forgot about my photos. So here are my favorite photos from last year. What do you think? If you would like to follow along, I will put this into chat. This is, this chat is going. This is like the equivalent of pineapple on pizza. <laughs> uh, okay. Whew. <laughs> All right, so we have Yawn. I'm just catching up on chat. Sorry. My favorite photos from 2023. Okay, before we get going... Okay, we've got a lot of photo grids, so let's dive into it. Gareth says, I always lived in soft water areas. 
so I don't suffer from lime, lime scale. It's nice. Okay, when I read when I read this article about the tea, it said the salt takes away the bitterness and I was like You need to buy better tea <laughs> That's okay. Okay. I Oliver I will give you props for that one. Nice All right, so we are looking at Jan's work Very nice And I don't know if Jan... Oh, we'll look in a second. Okay, hello. I cannot pronounce your name. Oh my gosh, wow. Lydia says, I don't know. There's some weird energy in microwave food. I always feel the warmth is different. Okay, we're talking about microwave. So we've gone down a whole another path here. Um, microwave rice is the best way to cook rice. Bar a rice cooker and I stand by it. All right. I did not expect that microwaving was going to be the... Um, uh, the catch-all there. Why? Why? Um, yeah, there is. Uh, let me take care of it. I'll, I've got it on my end. We are going to do a nice little shadow ban. That way they get to continue seeing my beautiful face, hearing my smooth voice. But we have no idea what they're typing in chat. <clears throat> All right, back to Jan. Very nice. I like this, the three buds, super nice. Um, great bokeh, depth of field is nice. I thought you were shadow banning me for a moment. <laughs> no, no. Very cool. <sighs> Oliver, don't shadow ban a guest. <laughs> no. <laughs> this is one of those things, just as a tip, whenever you're shooting any type of hallway, long corridor, whatever it is, Having a light or a lit subject is really nice because it actually brings you down the stairs into this area. So it's just a little tip. See, this is this is one of the things that I do a lot of. Um, I am always looking for perspectives. I'm walking up to buildings, looking up the faces of them. Um, I have a ton of photos like these. These are my fun plane photos. I, I, I love doing this. I love looking for strange stuff. So I actually enjoy this quite a bit. This is a nice frame. I've been there. I bet you a lot of you have been there. Now the question that I've got for Jan is how much editing did he do to take people out of these photos? Obviously not that one. That is nice. 
that's really nice. I would have almost liked to have seen this part of the flower, like in this area here, just so you don't have such a close tangent with this one. Um, I really like the fact that you've got one here, one here, you know, three is a magic number, blind melon, schoolhouse rocks. Um, I'm going to scroll down to the bottom. Don't want to get anybody sick. Motion sickness. Lydia says, beautiful photos. Yep. Uh, Steven says, I never go anywhere. It's two people. <laughs> It's two people out there. Uh, that's funny. Uh, if you'd like to use any of these images for a project, please send me a message. Got the call to actions right here. Very nice. Give that a thumbs up. Adobe Lightroom and a Sony A6100. Right. Post a comment, give it some love. All right, very nice. Thank you, Jan, for sharing. We're gonna be, uh, today, if you didn't look at the title, we are going to be editing some of your photos. Uh, but before we do, the light and art, for those of you that don't know, but I bet you y'all do, the light and art challenge uh, was published last week last weekend really um i'm actually happy with the way it turned out as a project as a whole uh but it's absolutely wonderful to see everybody's work together uh i did make a slight decision on bruce's not to give bruce's mom her own tab um so i'm sorry for that uh I had to do it a little bit different to bring in a, the couple videos that I needed to. But as you can see, we've got everything is broken up so you can zoom in. It's not just one long page. But of course, you can go through. And as we go through, remember you can actually like your own projects. So if you are an owner on this project, make sure you, you like it. <laughs> Give it a thumbs up. Arshia says, oh, okay. You know, Arshia, all of my projects, I end up liking them. Every single one of my streams, I hit that blue thumbs up. Um, I don't know what it does if Behance has some type of algorithm. I don't know. Um, but if you don't like your own work, why are you doing it? So it is totally okay to like your own work. Show appreciation. I did on the stream. Okay. But not on my own work. Go right ahead. Go right ahead. Give it a thumbs up. It, it counts. You get good numbers. Um, I think it's important. Okay, I'm streaming, so this is loading a little slow. Bear with me. We're at Vikram. We're, we're, we're done. Okay, so again, make sure, thumbs up. Uh, if you have submitted work and you do not see yourself as an owner, it is because I could not find you on Behance. Every single time that I go through and I make one of these projects for, for the community, I have to be able to 
link as an owner to your Behance. And if I don't know your Behance, because as of right now, this is how I know you. Like Arshia, there's other one, other Arshias, but I had to use your icon to like pick the right one. Um, if I don't know you like on Behance. So please contact me. Uh, there's Chris, who I don't even know if he's, he has a Behance, but they can, they can get to me. Steven says, I'm constantly disappointed by my work. Oh, I closed that. I didn't want to do that. Uh, Steven, you have progressed so much that you don't need to actually be disappointed. Um, go back to when you first started you know, go back and look at your first stream and see where you are now. As long as you're improving, that's all that matters. Uh, David says it's a very British thing to be disappointed with your own work. And David says, oh, you know what? We can talk about that on Monday. How, how about Tuesday? <laughs> you know it's Tuesday, David. <laughs> now you're getting me nervous. <laughs> it's it's Tuesday. <sighs> okay. <sighs> I thought David was going to say, oh, sorry, I have something booked on Tuesday. Oh, wow. Put the fear of God in me there. Okay. So there we go. I think we are ready to get going. Carmen, hello. Good morning. Um, let's jump into Lightroom. Okay, so as you can see, for those of you that may be somewhat new to Lightroom Classic or you are new to Lightroom Classic, um, I have a separate catalog. All right, David, have a great day. Thanks for stopping in. I will talk to you Tuesday, not Monday, Tuesday. Um, okay, so I have a separate catalog. This catalog has 478 photos. If you are playing with your calendars or your catalogs, like if you come here to recent, you're going to see I have two version 13 catalogs. I have my live stream, which is for you or things that I'm doing here. And then I have my personal catalog, which is just Lightroom catalog. So I will switch between those two catalogs. And that's pretty much the only time I do that. Um, we have a handful of photos that have been shared with me, and I don't know which one I'm going to work on first. But that's the first that's the first one. All right. This one is from Michelle. Also Michelle. Vikram sent this one and Vikram in when he sent it, he said something like he didn't know somebody was taking this photo and for me to somehow edit it and have fun. So if it looks like it's already been edited, the colors are, they seem off. I, I'll probably mess with the colors, but we may put something else in his hand other than a cat. I don't know, maybe jump into Photoshop. We have another one from Michelle. Also Michelle, and again, long corridor, with a bright spot at the end. Ooh, that needs to be taken out. That barrier at the end, that needs to be removed. Another one from Michelle. And the last one. <clears throat> Let's see. Uh, Jan 
as we were talking about this, shared his image from the challenge because there were people that wanted to see what it would look like in black and white. And I'm concerned. I am not going to do much editing because this is a raw file. He, Yawn, has the edited, but we will play with black and whites and see if we can get some something out of the highlight. So that is one we're going to work on for sure. Uh, we've got one from Mafu. Cats, more cats. And I do not know who this is, but somebody in my Discord, OKMMSK, posted this one. It's train station. And that's all I know about it. Pretty cool, though. I dig that. Uh... trying to remember we've got some old ones from Jan and Vikram that was Berlin there's Lydia's it looks like the Moscow subway station have you been there I'm, I'm looking for any type of writing, but even if it's the writing is Russian, I'm still not going to be able to be definitive as to if it's Russia general. Hello. Ah, uh, I would say it is. It could be China. Yes, it is the Moscow. Okay. That's interesting. I didn't notice the sickle and hammer. Right. Good call, Sandrine. Good call. Okay, let's see here. And I am just going through seeing some of the past ones. If we've missed I mean I I know there's a ton here that I have not done general says sir I'm fluent in six million forms of communication <gasps> oh this is that oh that's Stevens I thought I didn't I edit that? I guess I did not. General says, but most are not languages. Honestly, with this one, there is not much I would do. Um... The only thing that you you could do, and you know what? Let's go ahead. Let's knock this out really quick. Uh, this seems a bit grainy. It's a JPEG, so we're not going to be able to denoise it. Um, we could go through and denoise it, but let's, since Steven is here, the only thing that you really want to do is you want to bring out the details within the eye <sighs> okay I I wasn't gonna tell this story but because we're working on a uh, bird yesterday I was very sad um, last week before the snow I was here in my office working <clears throat> and there was a huge bang against a window and it was so loud, I thought it came from the room adjacent. So I ran out there. Nothing. I ran out on the deck and I'm looking under the window because it sounded like a bird hit the window. And 
nothing. You know, I'm looking everywhere. So yesterday, I'm taking the stairs up um, from the floor level outside, taking the stairs up, and I glance underneath my barbecue pit, and there is a a bird. It was a I have no idea what kind of bird it was. Beautiful bird, um, but that was like on the other end of the house. He hit or it hit the window so hard. I thought it was right by me. Um, so I had to take care of that yesterday. I felt bad. I don't, I'm, yeah. All right, let's take the highlights down a little bit so we're not peeking. And as you can see the histogram, every we've got a ton of, of proper exposure happening. So we really don't need to do a lot here. That's the point that I'm talking about. We're just trying to bring out the face more than anything else. We can go ahead, add a little bit of texture, maybe some clarity. And the clarity is really bringing the noise out. So you want to be subtle with that. I don't want to bring the shadows up. Add a little bit of contrast and a, add a bit of vibrance. So that's the before, that's after. Very subtle, very subtle. Um, it, this totally doesn't need to be cropped. It doesn't need anything really at all. What we're gonna do is we're gonna jump into our masks we're going to come down here and grab a radial gradient. And let's bring this over. Make sure we've got a good feather happening there. Bring that in. And we're gonna just bring up the exposure a little bit. Carmen asks, does Lightroom Classic have generative fill? It is not generative fill, but it does have the remove tool, which is AI driven like in Photoshop. Um, so it does have the remove tool. There are so many AI there's so much AI in Lightroom Classic. Generative fill, I don't think would be a benefit within Lightroom Classic. Because you have it in Photoshop. I would rather like, okay, let me, find something. Oh, this is the bird I worked on, Steven. I knew I worked on one. Okay. Let's see here. Okay, we have a person. Um, let's go ahead. I'm going to write or wait. Let's open this up. And that's the original. That's one of the originals. That's fine for what we're going to do. D for default we're gonna go ahead let's bring those highlights down uh we're gonna jump into our mask and as you can see right now it is detecting people so ai is working right now trying to find this face now this is an old photo it's it this is noisy it's nasty there's not a lot going on you can see the pixels um but let's see if lightroom classic finds it it may, it may not. I haven't tried it on a photo like this. Okay, so you can see we have person number one. And as I hover over it, it's highlighted with an overlay, with a red overlay. I can end up opening that up 
and now it knows it's only the upper body. So we have facial skin, body skin, eyebrows, lips, hair, and clothes. So AI has gone through and already created all of these masks that all I can, if, if I want to say, okay, we're going to do clothing and we're going to create a mask. Um, what we can do is we can actually come in and let's do, I'm thinking this through. What do I want to can give this a color just like so so up here in the top you can see that we've got a mask it's given us the mask and we were able to jump in and color the shirt we could do the same thing with the uh, with the hair, the eyebrows, whatever we wanted to do. If he was smiling, they would have teeth, all of that. Oliver says, I turned face, face detection off. It kept finding faces in trees and plants or just animal faces and asking, asking me who they were. I, yeah, yeah, okay. Uh, also, speaking of that, let me switch sides. Just so you know, over here in the presets, Lightroom Classic has added a bunch of adaptive portrait presets. So we it can go through and it'll go through and automatically find the eyebrows to darken the eyebrows, darken a beard, add texture to the hair, smooth hair, enhance the clothes. So all of these are using those masks that I grabbed before, but they're automatic. Thus, presets. All right. <clears throat> Let's go ahead. I want to... I'm going to collapse all stacks. There we go. Get back into our bird and hitting D for default. Already, if you look at the eye, that's the after, that's the before, and we can do it even more. So let's jump into here and let's name this. Let's call this our eye mask. And we are going to duplicate and invert that mask. So it's the same one now. Let's make it just a little bit bigger. And here, you can just darken this down a little bit. Make sure bring down the highlights, bring some shadows up. And so that's the before, that's the after. I think I went a little too dark. But as you can see, the big thing that I'm trying to do is just to draw the viewer's eye to the bird's eye. That way it's not as flat. Does enhance the clothes, add an insert posh brand logo. No, it does not. <clears throat> It's not that kind of generative. Okay, let's get back up to the top here. Uh, let's see what we've got here. Uh, all right, this is a raw photo. So we are gonna be able to get a lot of the detail out. Um, this was shot with a Z, a Nightcore Z24 to 200. And Alessandra, hello. Um, boo doo da 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 da. Okay. Like, I'm, I'm really wondering. Uh, 
This is shot at an ISO 2200, one three hundred and twenty fourth of a second at F4, which is wide open. All right. Let's go ahead, hit D. Go ahead, we will enable. And it's saying a built-in lens. That's interesting. All right, let's go for an auto, see what we get. Not a bad starting place. That's really weird. Um, is Bruce here? Ah, oh, Bruce is here. Hey, Bruce, you snuck in on me. <clears throat> okay. So this is the one thing about Lightroom Classic that Lightroom does not have, and it is the Navigator. I love this for white balancing. So over here, I'm gonna grab the white balance eyedropper, and I know that I'm gonna want something that is white. Um, the coloring of this is obviously way, way off. So I can see what I'm looking for and give it a click and boom, you're there. So that looks so much better from that to that already. Um, we're going to need to do some other fine tuning. I, this is just super noisy, super noisy. So before we do anything else, let's go ahead and denoise this. So we're going to go down to our detail. And since this is a raw file, we've got noise reduction. And let me switch sides again. Sorry about that, everybody. Let's hit denoise. Whoa. Okay. I don't know if that's coming across, but that's the original. That's after. We could even go a little bit more. Estimated time, 25 seconds. It's going, you got a lot of noise. Let's go ahead, denoise that. Holy cow. I love the denoise. I love it. I have no problem waiting 25 seconds for that. Anybody got plans this weekend? Anything? It's uh, starting to warm up a little bit. So yesterday, like you in the UK, we ended up getting a huge amount of wind. But. All right, now it's generating a DNG and it is done. So let's get back into here. And as you can see, it has generated and it says enhanced noise reduction or NR and it generated a DNG. So let's go ahead and zoom in there. Let's go to the next one. So that is the before, we'll wait for it to load. And that's the after. Wow. Okay. So happy with that. Let's go ahead and now let's go into transform. And the first thing that you want to do is make sure that your lines are straight, especially if you have lines that are near the edge. So go ahead and we're going to jump over here. We're going to grab this line right here. Let me just in. We've got that line. And I think this one's going to need to be straight because it's so close to the edge and it looks like it already is. Very subtle, very subtle. 
let's let's see what we get if we do a horizontal this might be a little crazy no not no okay not bad not bad Remember to put back your tool, your guided upright tool, when you're done. Now, let's go ahead and jump back into the basics. So, feel we need to still bring up the exposure a little bit. Our highlights, way too much. Bring our shadows, and bring our whites up. Now you're seeing the red marks. That's because we are clipping. So let's bring that back. Now, this is the interesting thing. My highlights are all the way over, right? I can't I can't do anything more on that. But I can grab up here in the histogram and continue to move. Now, it's not moving the highlights, it's moving the whites. So that's what usually it will be moving the highlights. That's okay. I'm okay with a little bit of clipping. Go ahead, turn that off. I am liking that. Okay, let's get rid of this camera. So let's jump up here. We're going to grab the remove tool. We're going to make our brush a little bit smaller. And I'm assuming it's a camera. And that did not do a good job. I did not do a good job. Command drag on the photo. No, Bruce, we are editing um, the community's artwork today. This is Michelle's. Interesting. Okay. This is something new that I did not know about. All right. So let's go ahead. We're going to grab that. We're going to delete it. I really, God, I really don't like what it did. All right, let's move on and then we'll take it into Photoshop. We're gonna add a little bit of texture. We're gonna add a bit of clarity. Uh, I don't like saturation, so let's set that back to zero. There we go. Um, I'm still in the wrong tool. Grab that. Hit delete. We could crop it. Yeah, I like that. Okay, let's go ahead. We're going to hit G for grid. 
We're going to grab this. We're going to go Command E. And let's jump over into Photoshop. Now, we don't... Mm, how do I want to do this? There's one thing that I don't like that's happening. It's with this blue color in the background. Let's go ahead. Let's duplicate that layer. Turn that layer off. And let's see if we can eliminate the blue color. Um, I wonder, should I remove her first? Eh, meh. Okay, let's go ahead, grab a color balance. Want to eliminate some of these blues. So all I'm doing is I'm looking back here behind Hello. There we go. Now we're getting it. Now we're getting it somewhere. Okay, let's go ahead. I'm just going to eliminate that mask. I'm going to hold down the option key. We're going to grab that mask that is purely black now. We're going to grab a brush, making our brush a little bit bigger. What brush we've got? Oh, that's okay for now. Everything's at a hundred. Painting with white. That is not making the changes that I saw. Let's do this in a different way. Let's get rid of that. Let's grab that layer. Let's turn it into a smart object. Let's go in and go filter camera raw. And within camera raw, we've got our white balance right there. So we know we want to get rid of that blue. So if we do this, The click area is too bright. That is a new one on me. Never had it say that it's too bright. Okay. Now, bring down the exposure. And again, I'm just looking at the outside trying to bring details in now we can go ahead hit okay there we go now holding down let's turn on our background holding down our option key grabbing a mask on that now painting with white or even better forget that we have straight lines let's actually take advantage of the tools we have so we're going to grab the polygonal lasso tool and we are just going to start clicking in these corners. Just click in these, holding shift. That one, I think I am going to have to maybe paint. Or at least do a little bit of painting. We'll see. I will fix that in a moment. We could also 
do like a select subject something like that all right now with our mask selected i'm gonna go option delete we're gonna fill that now command d to deselect hitting b for our brush let's zoom in here making our brush smaller and now we can kind of paint this away I went too far, so hitting X, that right there, back there, right there. You've gone quiet, chat. What are you all working on today? Working on making what lunch, watching and working. Good. That's that's why I'm here. Why is my smoothing up? Oi, oi, Sean, come on. Everyone's in this in suspense. Ooh, or she is working on a logo. Anything you can share? Due to the fact that I am doing this like normally I would have like select the subject inverted did stuff like that we need to bring that back bring back the marble there we go and again let's grab the lasso tool Just doing a quick dirty selection. Option delete. Ah, command delete. Command D, B for brush, hitting X to bring back our black, a little messed up there, okay. And that, I hit the wrong button, hit the wrong button, still hitting the wrong button. Bruce says, been thinking of making a thank you post for all the people who's been appreciating the light and art project. Phone notifications have been going bonkers. So thank you, Sean, in a good way. Thank you, Bruce. I agree. Um...
Arshia, you are welcome. That was a fun challenge. The good thing is, uh, for those of you that took part in the challenge last year, you may remember there was a bit of frustration at the end of it. And I actually didn't know if I was going to be doing another challenge um, pretty much ever. So this one went pretty smooth. Lydia, you are welcome. So that's, that makes my life better. All right, we got one more little bit. Oh, me. Hello. And you are welcome. I don't know for what. <laughs> <laughs> but you are welcome. I will throw out your welcomes to anybody. Anybody that says thank you. Okay. So, the background, that was kind of a pain in the butt. Farida, hello? Um, but that is what it looked like before. That's what it looks like after. Thank you over on YouTube. Um, I cannot read your name. I apologize, but thank you. That, you know, little details like that means a ton. Like that blue in the background was driving me nuts. So being able to eliminate it, get the white balance. Now, Let's let's go ahead. We're going to go command S to save this and we'll wait a moment while it saves it back to Lightroom Classic. And then we'll jump over to Lightroom Classic so we can see what we're talking about. Ah, uh, come on, you can do it. This is a big file. There are some things that I would do um, like I would eliminate this red right there, that sign. Um, in fact, let's do it. Let's 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 eliminate. Get rid of it. So I'm thinking, how do I want to do this without messing up my lip? This is something that I should have eliminated the distractions before, but since I'm waiting and doing it now. I think we're gonna have to use gen fill on it so let's just make a selection right there the name in is in arabic and it means motivation town i like that i like that a lot zoom in see what we got nope that is a bad selection sean Okay, making that, let's go ahead. I'm going to grab, just hit generate, and you can't see it. You can't see my contextual taskbar. I'm not showing it to you. <laughs> it's, I don't know why my contextual taskbar is at the bottom of the screen. You can't see it. I should have my lower third off. Okay, let's see what we've got here. Well, it's good enough that I lost where it was at. Ooh, that's a good one. Okay, let's let's go ahead. Command zero, and that's okay. I don't know if this is a big deal to you, but for those of you, look right here. And as I turn this layer off and on, 
Like these little details drive me nuts. Um, number one rule is remove distractions. So now let's go command S. Let's save that out. Jess, hello. It has been a while. Welcome back. It is great to see you. Happy New Year, even though we're almost into February. But I hadn't said Happy New Year to you yet. So. Sweet peeps. I like that. Let's jump back over into the Lightroom Classic. And now you can see that up here at the top, we have our PSD. So this is where we started. Actually, technically, that's not where we started. Let's go ahead, hit D for default. Let's reset this back to zero. Okay. <clears throat> this is where we started. This is where we ended up by using some huge tools, the noise reduction tool within Lightroom Classic, which is AI driven. Um, and then being able to go in and use layers within Photoshop to get rid of this blue tint, which once we got rid of the orange from inside, this turned really freaking blue. So if we went, that's there, there's the blue. That drives me, that drives me bonkers. So we were able to get the correct white balance within inside the building. But by doing that, it messed up the white balance outside the building. So that's why we needed to take it into Lightroom Classic. Excuse me, take it into Photoshop and actually use the power of layers that we don't have in Lightroom Classic to get more of a balanced feeling. So we could go through here and continue editing this no problem at all. Let me hit G for grid, okay? And if I really wanted to, one of the things that I would recommend, let's go D for default, we would come up into our mask and we're gonna at, do a select subject. And as you can see, it is selecting the subject and it did it, I'm, I'm good with that, um, but that's not what I want. So we're going to duplicate and invert that mask. Now we've got some stuff going on down here. We are going to maybe, maybe, maybe not. We'll see what happens. So I want to darken. Yep, that's not bad at all. I want to darken that, bring down the highlights. I don't want it to go too crazy so it looks like that. That's That looks horrid. But I want to darken it down a little bit. You know what? I should have grabbed that one. Let's bring up our whites a little bit. That may be too much. I think that's yeah I'm I'm okay with that I went too far with the back back background okay <clears throat> I like that now we get back in here and the effect that I would use is a vignette and I'm still trying to bring the detail bring the viewers eye to the statue now we've I don't want anything affected up here so I'm gonna come up here to the highlights or come down to the highlights here I'm gonna hold down the option key and now you can see the corners have turned black and it's letting me see exactly what is going on Lydia have a great day Take care. Actually go a bit more. Right there. You're welcome, Lydia. Okay. 
The very last thing that we're going to do is we're going to add some sharpening. And not a ton because it's a raw file and there's already sharpening in it. But I'm going to hold down the mask, the option key, grab our mask. Just make sure I'm getting the edges. There we go. All right. We're going to hit G for grid. And again, we went from this photo, which I guarantee everybody here has taken photos that have turned out like this. I know I have. And again, I always say this. And because there's new people here, I'm going to say it again. Shoot raw. Shoot raw. Shoot raw. <laughs> Not JPEG. Shoot raw. This photo would not be able to be saved from that to that if this was a JPEG. Oliver says, always exposed for the highlights. Technically, this is exposed for the highlights. You're absolutely 100% correct, Oliver. And we're going to be getting into that in our next photo. We're going to talk about exposing for the highlights. Um... Uh, yeah, I mean, it doesn't look... Let's go ahead. Hit uh, D for develop. Yeah, we are not. So technically, this is exposed for the highlights. Over here in our histogram, you can see we are not clipping. Um, so that was a big thing. Like what Oliver says, exposed for the highlights. We can get the detail out of the shadows. We do have pure black. And I don't even see where the pure black is on this. Um, I'm looking for the pure black. Are you? Okay. Right down here. Now you, now you can see it in the blue. Go ahead. It's right on the edge. Why is contrast being messed up there? Anyway. Tim, hello. Oliver says, because you can usually recover shadows, but you can't recover blown highlights, even with raw files. Absolutely correct, Oliver. Uh, Tim says, I marble at the modern editing techniques, which we take for granted nowadays. You can, <laughs> you, <clears throat> you can really sculpt an image. Nothing is set in stone. My gosh, that, that makes my brain hurt. <laughs> uh, 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 Tim, thanks for coming in. I hope you have a great day. Um, oh my gosh, that is so funny. I, I don't know what to do after that. Thank you, everybody. Have a great day. Uh, all right. We've, we've marveled enough at this. Uh, here's one of the things we're going to talk about. <clears throat> Let's actually jump back here. Just to give people a reminder of the light and art community challenge. And yawn. Let's get down to yawn. Excuse me. Hopefully nobody feels a little sick. I'm scrolling fast. Got to get to yawn. Here we go. Okay. Jan shared this image from New Year's Eve. Fireworks, the lit wool, um, and also I'm assuming lighting the fireworks. There was much, much love for this photo, for the hand, for everything about this. So the chat wanted to see it in black and white. So I talked with Jan and he was nice enough to send it over to me. So we've got the two raw images. Alicia, hello. Hi, Bruce's mom. Hi, Bruce's mom. One more time, just because it's fun. Hi, Bruce's mom. <laughs> I hope you're having a great Thursday. Um, okay, so here are the two raw files. Very important that they're raw files. Now, what do we got here? What did we do? 
Or what did Yawn do? That's the main question. Um, okay, 125th of a second, 5-6, ISO 8000. Now, this is interesting because look at the detail that you are getting within this match. This is the brightest spot within the image. Um, it's fire, it should be. Everybody's saying, hi, Bruce's mom. Um, like that, that is, that is amazing. Now for this one, 125th, 5, 6, 8,000. Okay, it's just, it's just more fire. You can see whatever this is up here at the top. Like if we denoise that, we'll probably figure it out. Um, but you can see whatever it is kind of lit and added a secondary source. But Bruce says, mom laughs and waves at the screen. Thank you, Sean, and everyone makes her day. Thank you for being here, Alicia. I appreciate you. And I love your watercolors. Um, so the fire now at this point, we lose detail but we gain all this detail out of the fingers, which is makes this photo so spectacular. If there's one thing Sony does well, it's sensors. Yeah. So the, here, here's the question. We want to see if we can, how this image is going to look in black and white. Now I'm concerned because it, with this photo, let's go ahead, hit D for develop. And we've got a lot of pure blacks going on there. Um, let's actually just bring up the blacks just a bit to get out of that. And let's go black and white. Okay. This needs to be denoised. <laughs> let's go command Z. Um, Let's denoise it. Let's do this the right way. Let's go into our detail. Let's denoise. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. So amazing. Enhance, please. When I was at Max, I was talking with the, uh, oh, Sandrine, no worries. I was talking with the Lightroom Classic team from India and I was like, oh my God, I love the Diddy noise. I love this. I love that. And the guy kept going, can, wait, hold, can you, can, can we record this conversation? And I'm like, look, man, just call me. I'm more than happy to do an interview. Um, but he was like, I'm so happy to see people this excited about Lightroom Classic. Oliver says, I love how much faster your computer does that than mine. I hope you're not joking. Because as you can see, whatever is going on, yeah. It's a RAM sucker. It is a RAM sucker. So let's go ahead. That's the before. That's the after. Oh, nice. Like there's enough grain. I dig it. So that makes me happy. While we're waiting... Uh, let's denoise this one too. I actually may need to close down Lightroom Classic after this um, and restart it. It is not. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, Oliver says, I'm not joking. Mine would take the 25 seconds to generate the preview, never mind the final image. Well, I tell you what, my fans are going. And, um, oh, sorry. I have to actually hit enhance. Um, my computer's working. I'll put it that way. Lightroom Classic is really beating up my computer. Like, I'm surprised I haven't dropped any frames. Because my mouse right now, it's not... M nothing smooth. Everything says I'm good. Yep. Oh, I've dropped a couple. Sorry about that, people. Let's 
Okay. <clears throat> I think I am going to go ahead and uh, restart Lightroom Classic. I well, I know, I I know everybody's drops frames when they were pushing their computer. I don't know. I'm trying to, trying to be a pro. Not that it works. <laughs> Uh, no, I think the 175 people is the total number of people that have come into the stream and watched me for about two seconds and went, no, there's 18 people watching now. At least that's what I'm told. Okay. Again, making sure check out, check out up here. We have the enhanced noise reduction and I open up this one first because we do have the detail within the a flame um wait <laughs> oh uh sandrine says when i open lightroom classic i always chuckle at the starting image what is it one of the adams families and disco attire <laughs> let's hit d for default or for develop <laughs> now you got me all messed up um, let's check out. Okay. It's got our lens. That's cool. Let's go into our basic and let's go black and white and let's check out. Let me turn off our clipping there. Tim says, no worries. I could ask some of my multiple personalities to join the chat. There is Funny Tim, Sneaky Tim, Hungry Tim, and Tim Foolery Tim. <laughs> Tim, I know you have many more personalities and personas than that. I, I remember Tony's streams. So everything that I'm looking for is, is right here. This is everything that I'm looking at when I'm going through and just checking these out. 50% of the accounts on Behance are Tim. <laughs> uh, um, I kind of dig that, that yellow. Mm, the orange is nice too. Okay. Let's... Let's go ahead. We're just going to leave it at black and white for right now. Alex, hello. All right. Let's get out of this. Now, let's get in to this one. This is the one that we wanted to check. Hitting D for develop again. Let's go in, making sure our lens correction. Yep. And we're just going to hit black and white. This is what I was afraid of here. Um, this is one of the things... Let me grab that one holding seat seat there. There we go. Um, this is one of the things that I was nervous about. Like we've got the detail here in that flame, which I like, but we've lost the detail within the fingers. Um, here we've got the focal point on the fingers, but why is that the wrong candidate? Wrong candidate. There we go. We've got the focus on the fingers and we're getting more of the detail there, but this is just a white blob now. Um, so we need to see which is going to be better. Now, overall, I'm going to tell you that the composition, everything, this is better. But what we need to do is a see if we can get some of the detail in the highlights. I doubt it, but we're going to try. Um, or we're going to see if we can get the details out of the shadows here. So that's those are the two things that we're going to focus on. So let's get back into here. Let's grab this one first, hitting D for develop. And Sandra, hello. Um, I am going to take the exposure down to see what we've got there. 
That's all I'm doing. I'm just doing a test. So at three stops, we're starting to see that. But as you can see, this is still completely blown out. There is no information whatsoever in those blobs. So even if we come in here, we bring our whites down. There we go. Now we can see what we're, what it is we're working on. We take our highlights down. Now we're getting this really funky clipping happening. And if you look at the Instagram up here, this peak up here is this pure white. Then it's got this straight, strong, straight up and down uh, um, drop off into this gray. It's not pretty. That's that's just not pretty. So let's go ahead, take that. Let's go ahead, see highlights. No, nope, that's. That's pretty much all we're going to get. We could take it just down a bit, but I don't like what we've got going on the edge here. I don't mind this part, but I don't know what it is we're looking at. Like, chat, um, if, if you didn't know this was a match from the original images, could you tell what it is? To me right now, it's a no. And and this is one of my favorite photos that I have seen in a long time. When I think of the name Alex, I always think of the lion in Madagascar and then I shout Alex. <laughs> uh Okay. So let's go ahead. Nobody's answering me, but that's okay. Let's go ahead. Let's jump back into this one. Now, we've got some good detail already happening within this flame. You can see detail within the match. So I'm happy with that. Um, I want to see if we can get some more detail out of the fingers. So usually when you're in the pure blacks like this, like what we've got going, we'll be able to pull some of the detail out at least in the knuckles. Uh, is this some, the Roche, oh God, I can never say this, Tim, bobbles. Okay, the Roshosh test. Because in this picture, I can see my kindergarten teacher that I never, that never loved me, or a duck. Um, that's funny. Bruce says, just because of the rim light and reflective light, I would be able to make it out only, by the way. Oh, interesting. Jess says, guess we're all enchanted by your skills, Sean. Yeah, thank you, Jess. Thank, thanks for, thanks for that. Frank, hello. All right, let's see what we can get out of these fingers. So let's increase our shadows. Increase the blacks. And let's increase the exposure. See what we've got there. All right. Nope. We've got pure black. Now it's pure gray. <sighs> so this is one of the things that I'm I'm not happy about when it comes to black and white. Let's go ahead. We're going to reset that. Um, get into here. Now, I still, I like the detail that we have going on in the hands. It just, it, this black and white doesn't do it for me. And I'm a huge fan of black and white. Devlin, hello. Um, yeah, I gotta, I, I, I have to say people to, for me, one of the things 
that I love about this photo is the warmth. And let's even take this a step further. Let's go ahead into our white balance. And because they shot raw, Devlin, did I say hi to you? Hi, Devlin. Uh, we have all of these presets, which are great. Um, I'm not worried about that. Go ahead, grab this. Like eliminating the warmth. This is a different photo now than that. Let me turn off our clipping up here. Turn off, thank you. Um, to me, it is a different photo. The warmth of the photo with the age of the hands is what does it for me with this photo. Setting the correct white balance, it loses that feeling. It loses a lot. So I'm pretty amazed how wonderful this photo is. Now, just so you know, <clears throat> what we saw from this photo, and let's go ahead and reset it again. If we go into the crop tool, If I remember correctly, this is the image we saw. This is the image that um, that Jan shared with us. I don't, I, you know, maybe let's, I want to check something now. I want to know if he denoised it and I don't know. Um, how do I want to do this? Let's jump into the discord. Let's do it this way. I love the light. I love the hands. I Like I said, it's one of my favorite photos that I've seen in a long time by anybody. Um, it's up there. So, okay. Scrolling through. Sorry, everybody. Sorry. That's San... Jess, you're right. It's a beautiful photo. So much warmth in it. Sandrine, have a great day. Okay, so what I'm doing right now, I'm zooming in, and it looks like maybe on did denoise it. Come on. No. Interesting. Okay. So the one on the left hand side, Jan warmed it up even more. Um, they did not. Jan did not denoise the image. If they did, they didn't use the uh, denoise and Lightroom Classic. And they warmed it up even more. There's more of a red tone in this image. Wow. Okay. Interesting. Very interesting. Now, I do not, I'm not going to edit this photo. Um, I don't want to. You know, we went through, and the big thing is, is you in chat, you wanted to see what it looked like black and white. That was the main reason that I wanted to dive into this. And also, because of what happened with the earlier photo, we were able to explain um, when you're photographing, photographing for the highlights and not the shadows. It doesn't need it, right? 
um, I find it when I'm comparing yawns to this one, I didn't realize how red it was. So I find that interesting. Um, you could add a little bit more warmth to this image. And maybe that's what Jan was going for. Or very much Jan could have been trying to bring in more of these colors. You know, we've got we've got this the the fire orange here. We've got some orange, bright oranges there, the bright oranges. And maybe he brought ah, that's more red. Maybe he's bringing these reds in trying to make a cohesive collage within this overall image. Um, I don't know. Jan's not here, so I can't ask him if, if that was a conscious edit that he did. Um, it works. I'm not, I'm, believe me, I'm not complaining at all. Um, so yeah, yeah. I'm happy with that. I'm happy. All right. Seeing if there's any more questions about that photo. All right. Back into Lightroom Classic. Um, I want to see which one. I've got time for maybe one more. And join us today. Jack and I, maybe, I don't know. Maybe we'll be working on some Mad Libs in the Firefly Discord today. Uh, all right, we did a statue, we worked on a bird, and we went through a little bit of photography talk with our hands. Alex, take care. Um, oh, we were gonna do Vikram. We gotta, we, we're gonna, we're, we gotta end with Vikram. Uh, chat. I'm going to go ahead and kind of uh, try to get a little bit different color happening here. Um, to me, Vikram is a little bit too Oompa Loompa. Um, this is not one of Vikram's photos. Vikram didn't take this photo, to be clear. Vikram didn't take this photo. I'm assuming Vikram didn't edit this photo. Um, he just said, have some fun with it. So I want to work on the coloring a little bit. And then from you, chat, what are we going to put in Vikram's hand? That's the question of the day. <laughs> what are we going to put in Vikram's hand? Um, Let me know. I th I'm assuming Vikram completely knew where we were going to go with this. Turn the cat into a baby lion. That's a maybe. Okay, so here's, here is an interesting thing. It looks as if this photo has been colorized, right? So you are looking for a neutral gray. And if you're not having a neutral gray, even though this has already been colorized, I, f I feel, um, then you're looking for a pure white or a pure black. Tip. Let's zoom in and let's get rid of the color picker. Let's zoom in to 300. Yep. Okay. Everybody's pupils are pure black. If you have a problem finding a pure black or a pure white, use the pupil. I don't even think that changed. That didn't even change. Um, Firefly button like the YouTube silver button you get for 100k subs? What?
I don't even know what that means, Gareth. Firefly button, like the YouTube button, YouTube silver button. Don't know what. Okay. Got me confused. That feels better. If you get a hundred, a hundred thousand subs on YouTube, they send you a silver play button. Oh, is that the one that um, Jose had? Uh, uh, Jose, hey Zeus had the YouTube button plaques that people get sent. Okay, Jr. Hey Zeus Ramirez, last night's stream had it behind him. I I'm not getting there. Uh, oh, now, now you're going to make me laugh. <clears throat> um, where am I going? Let's go streaming. YouTube. Yeah. Not even close. <laughs> uh, not even close. Uh, Tim could get you there with all of his accounts. It's true. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> that feels better to me. Um, just the color balance. It, it feels better to me. I didn't like it where we were going before. So let's go ahead and hit G for grid. And we are going to go uh, Command E. And edit a copy with the Lightroom adjustments. Yes, please. We're going to jump into Photoshop. Now, first off, before we get going, let's remove some distractions. So let's see how the remove tool does here. And let's go ahead. We're going to make a new layer. Uh, we're going to grab the remove tool up here. I've got sample all layers. And this is interesting. People have been doing this on the Adobe Lives, and I did not know this. So if I paint around this like this and let go, it automatically fills in. I had no idea about that. I've been sitting there painting like the whole thing. I had no idea. Creative Claude 2024. Creative Claude. Uh, okay. Um, I'm not worried about these people back here. That tree kind of bothers me. Let's go ahead and zoom out. Um, that graffiti, I don't like it, but we're going to leave it. Uh, one thing we do want to do, let's check out what we have for our size. So we're going to go image and up here to image size. See what we've got. 3,000 by 5,000 is a pretty decent size photo. Okay, I'm, I'm happy with that. Um, we are going to go ahead and the depth of field is blurry, so I'm not worried that it's going to make it blurry, but we're gonna go C for crop. We're gonna bring this up and let's bring this out. No, let's do it in two steps, two steps. Um, we are going to go ahead, hit okay. And I've got generative expand selected at the top. So it's going to do it automatically, which is fine. And I'm just trying to give a little bit more room for whatever it is we're going to make. The first thing, ooh, I like that. That's a little better. Oliver said to turn the kitty into a baby lion. Um... We could totally do like a lion cub, um, total, uh, the lion king, Vikram's holding up the baby. Everybody sings. Barbara, good morning. Um, any, uh, anything else? I mean, this must be too early in the morning for some of you because in... 
in the Firefly, people would be like coming up with some ridiculous ideas. I don't like that one at all. That one's better. Singing, I thought the lion slept tonight. Ah, <laughs> uh, um, Engelbert Goodensmith. Um, Engelbert, one thing that I was thinking about in the future is it would be amazing for. No, I'm not going to talk about that. Okay, Engelbert, welcome in. Wonderful to see you. Oh, Gareth is singing. And of course, Devlin says just a taco. Thank you, Devlin. Thank you for that. Um, all right, let's go ahead. I like where we're going so far. I'm going to go ahead, hold shift, select all those layers. Go command E. We're going to merge everything down. Next off, I'm being destructive and I don't care because this is already saved over in Lightroom. So we can just go ahead, do some quick little cleanups because I don't like both of those. Um, oh, you want ridiculous? A space octopus with its legs wrapped around the arm. We had so much problems getting a snake to wrap around somebody's arm. Oh my gosh, I want to do that. A football, we always get a soccer ball, Bruce. Um, I have to try that. We can do as many as we want, but oh, I so have to try that. Um, let's grab the lasso tool and I'm going to grab the Grom's arm. We're going to grab the entire kitty. Sorry, kitty. Making sure get it all. Even the dude in the back. And now I will show you my contextual taskbar. One moment. Let me bring it up for you. We are going to put in a cobra wrapped around arm. Not a clue what we're going to get. A kitty drone. I cannot believe I'm the one that's going a little off the rails here. Usually, chat, this is you. <laughs> uh, oh! I have no... Okay, that's kind of scary. Um, Snia? Hello. Um, yeah, I was right. Uh, oh, oh, God. I hate, I hate snakes. And that one is freaking me out. Now his arm is messed up. Um, right there. Vikram's arm, he has two elbows. Okay, we're not we're we're not doing the snake. <clears throat> we're getting out of that. Oh, that's giving me the heebie-jeebies. Engelbert says, "Quick, hang some baubles on the snake." Oh, Mian, hello, welcome in. Um, mm, not a fan, not a fan, not a fan of snakes. Okay. We had a a football. The odds are it's going to be a oh, it's not. His hand is going the wrong way. No, that's not bad. Okay. Got a football. I'm going to hold down the command key. We're going to click right there. We're going to turn that layer off. We're going to select our main layer again. 
Um, a trophy. I like that. Uh, let's put in a gold. Well, we're going to have to change the selection a little bit, which is fine. Um, gold. And it spell it right, Sean. Gold trophy. And let's go ahead. I'm going to hold down shift. I'm going to need to make it a little bit taller. You want the taco. His expression suits with a trophy. Pretty much anything you put in that. Wow. I did a good job. Um, that one, not so much. that's not bad I mean it actually the the biggest thing that you would want to do is to make sure to come in and get a little bit of colorization on the hands the hands are just too white um that's not bad okay we're gonna we're gonna keep that one let's go ahead and what was ah uh, we had a taco Whatever we do today, we're not doing tacos on the, um, yeah, that's not the size I want. We want that size. Let's turn that layer off, coming down here, and taco. Ah, not even on Taco Thursday. <clears throat> Tim, the on the Firefly Discord, we... Okay, that's pretty funny. <laughs> uh, yeah, we're not. I'm. I'm. I'm not going to open up the bingo sheet, but I'll tell you what. On the Firefly Prompt Jockey bingo sheet, there definitely is a taco. Uh, okay, we have a cake. That could be funny. Like that. All right, let's make that selection there. Take that away. And... Um... Strawberry... Nope, spelled it wrong. Strawberry... Cake. He's throwing it. He, don't, he doesn't like it. A cup of microwave tea with just a pinch of salt. Oh, a three-tier... Oh my gosh, wait, 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 wait. Wait, mm, let's zoom in a bit. Yes, Vikram is throwing it here. Um, I don't know why there's a knife in it, okay? But look at that. <laughs> Um, uh, there may be too many hands. I, I, I don't know. I can't count. But I gotta tell you, Firefly got the number of fingers right. One, two, three, four, five. Five fingers and three hands. Well, you gotta hand it to him. Rick, hello. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Let's grab um, the... Oh, let's grab the trophy. Let's get out of that. Zoom out a little bit. And we're going to do a... Now, I don't even know if it's going to know what a, oh, a three-tier cake is. Three-tier cake. We'll try it. 
Maybe he got it from the second hand store. Oh. That's just spectacular, Tim. Two tiers. Ooh, he's balancing. <laughs> well, I would call this a four tier cake. At least he's using a napkin. Um, that's that's nice. Um mm, mm. Oh my gosh. We're just going to get rid of that one. He's clean. Oh my goodness. Okay. Um, we are going to try... I'm, I'm going through chat right now to see if I missed anything. And I saw Bruce said a watermelon... Um, water about the lightsaber I don't know if it would actually know what a lightsaber is I mean we, let's always try it uh, let me think which one do I want let's do that one holding shift with the selection Need to go ahead and do something like that. Lightsaber. Balancing a book. Nia, hello. Welcome in. A boom box radio. Now, here, here's... Oh, we got a saber. He's yelling, I have the power. <laughs> okay, sorry, I cracked myself up with that one. Um, oh, my gosh. Mirror, hello? Okay. This is, this actually is not bad. Oh. Okay, if I'm going to do this, we got to do it right. <clears throat> Off the top of my head, I do not know a good, like, He-Man 80s. Okay, so let me think here. There's under font packs. I thought we had... Comic Sans. I thought there was an 80s bad. No, I'm not. I'm not going to add electricity or the lightning. Um, not going to do it. was a video game font pack. Okay, let's get back all fonts. By the power of Gray Skull.
Oh, that's it. That is what we want. Okay. We're going to add that font. Uh, Rick. The, what we did here, Vikram sent me a photo. Ah, Rod. Uh, Vikram sent me a photo and said play with it. So I already extended it. I'm I'm really not concerned. <laughs> um, or I thought it was Pix. I already forgot the name. Ricks. I should have known it was Rick. I'm sitting here talking to Rick. There we go. What am I doing? Wait for it, people. The glow, of course, is for Tim. You want to add glow to everything. <clears throat> Tim says, love the glow. That's for you, Tim. Um, all right. I'm going to group these two. We're going to go Command G. And um, we're going to call it... Thick man. Okay. Uh, let's go. You know, oh gosh, I'm gonna have to, aren't I? Aren't I? This is this is for you, Bruce. Oh my goodness. Let's add a new layer. Let's go ahead and hit B for brush. Let's get into my brush and do a lightning brush uh, I've got a lightning brush pack here and go ahead and grab that color actually go ahead that let's make it a little bit smaller build the brush and make it oh, yeah let's grab another brush because they can't be the same grab that one let's tilt it gotta make it a little smaller there we go so we've we're going subtle Why do I listen to you? No. Oh. <clears throat> okay. I think we are coming close to the end. So let me turn off the Vic man. 
Um, what I'm probably going to do is download these for Vikram and put them in the Discord. So, what we've got is we've generated a football. We have generated a trophy. I think this one turned out good. That was a, that was a great suggestion. Vikram, you can see, just so happy to have that trophy. We've got a taco. And of course, if we want to, we've we've got the generations there. So we can pick and choose which one. Um, that one, I like that one because it feels like it's falling. And we've, oh God. No. Not, not the hand cake. There we go. No, Mian. This is regular Photoshop. This is Photoshop 2024. So, um, the generative fill and generative expansion came out of beta a few months ago. It's been a while. Um, yeah, well, I'll just say that. It's been a while. Just you editing this picture without Photoshop beta. Yeah, this is just regular Photoshop. If Make sure if you go into your Creative Cloud and you go into your apps. First off, make sure you are up to date. Um, and make sure that it is Photoshop 2024. Um, once Photoshop 2024 was released, I think it came out at max. Yeah, I think it came out of beta at max, so that would have been October. Um, I'm, I'm trying to remember for sure. Okay. Version 25.4. Thank you, Rick. Uh, I like that one. I like the idea he's throwing that one, but we don't want to throw cake. Uh, the three-tier cake did not do very good. Meh. Um, but I'm I'm very happy with the Vic Man. Okay. Up to date Photoshop beta generative fill. No, there's there's no need for the beta. You don't have to use the beta. Um I'm not gonna open the beta because I've got I I have the private beta and not the public beta. Um so I can't show stuff. No sneaks. Okay, there we go. And you know what? I think I'm gonna I'm gonna use this as my thumbnail. Sir, just your talent, no generative fill. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Um, let's see here. I am Mian, just so you know. I am a photographer, um, and I do other things, but my main profession is a photographer. So the community gave me this image here to turn it into that. Um... Photoshop and also Lightroom Classic are probably my two favorites, but I love Illustrator also, and After Effects, and Character Animator. Character Animator is a blast. And and Adobe Express, since I am an Adobe Express ambassador. <laughs> uh, I almost missed that one. And Firefly, since, you know, I stream four days a week on the Firefly Discord. Don't forget about Dreamweaver, Dreamweaver. Dreamweaver. Yep, love it. Um, 
So as you can see, one of the issues when you take a photo like this and you are trying to fix the white balance and you're trying to bring the details out, as soon as you bring out the, the, the white balance for inside, it's going to mess up the white balance for the outside. So this is when you use Photoshop to jump in and the power of layers to balance two separate light sources to make it work together to make it so you can actually do it. So when it comes to photography, 90% of my work, 85% of my work is in Lightroom Classic. When needed to do heavy lifting or specific tools are needed, sorry, hit my mic, um, I will jump into Photoshop when it comes to photography. So if you are interested in seeing my work, feel free to go ahead and I don't even know where I'm at. You can subscribe to me and you can actually go through all of the projects that I do and what I have made. Um, for a prime example, and I know I've shown this a lot, but we have new people. This background in which I am very happy about. If you jump onto my Behance, you will see this project. Welcome to Kozelhoff. Going into this project, you will see that I used Lightroom Classic, Photoshop, Illustrator, Character Animator, After Effects, and Media Encoder. Um, for this project, I created 3D objects in Illustrator from my own photos. Um, I created the landscape. I created the puppet. And then I created my first animation ever. Oh, hello there. I didn't see you. Welcome to Kozelhoff. Follow me to the merch shop. He's a little stretchy. But I'm quite proud of that project for the first animation that I have ever done in my life. Um, I'm happy with it. So, okay. I think, Arshia, thank you. Oh, please, sir, please inform me which you use software you use live. Um, this is, this is Photoshop. 2024 and today this is Lightroom Classic Adobe Photoshop Lightroom Classic library hopefully that answers you oh okay if you are interested, let me find this. Let me go over to my YouTube. Let's go into my lives. First off, this. And feel free to subscribe. I need subscribers. Uh, let me find the link and I will put it into chat. We've got... It's been a few months since I did the how I stream. But look, give me a quick second. And this always happens. I'm trying to leave and somebody comes up and has a question, which I love answering. I'm not complaining. Did you find it that quick, Tim? So, oh, you did. You rock, Tim. Oh my gosh. Tim is directly connected to the internet. Yes. And if anybody is interested, usually this is for people that subscribe. But this is the web page that goes along with that uh, stream. So if you scroll in, <clears throat> you're going to see I'm actually talking about and showing this page here. So I have everything about how I stream, what you need to stream, 
I've got photos of my studio. Um, I've got all the settings, Behance, how to set things up, OBS, how to set things up. Uh, the one thing, here's all the OBS settings. Oh, Video Ninja, I've got Video Ninja. The one thing that I do not have is Restream. I haven't, and maybe I showed it on the stream, I don't remember, but I use Restream to stream to uh, Facebook, Behance, YouTube, and Twitch. And then LinkedIn is for my Relink uh, streams, and I do not stream to Twitch on my linked Relink streams. So, um, hopefully that answers your questions. Yeah. When was this? Nine months ago? Eh, maybe it's time to do another one. I don't know. Okay. I'm not seeing any more questions coming in. Anything from anybody? Quick. <laughs> I'm going to end the stream. And um, what was his name? What was their name? Mian? Uh, Mian, you're welcome. How do magnets work? Uh, you see uh, stream related questions. Tim, <laughs> most of my tangents are totally not stream related. You know, I don't know. I always take things with a with a pinch of salt and microwavable. <laughs> All right, we're we're gonna probably talk about that a little bit more next week with David Cousins. Um, by the way, let me actually bring that up. I want to give a quick shout out if I can find it fast. There we go. Next week, it is, I am going to have David Cousins on the Relinked program. So January 30th, 1 p.m. CET, we're going to be talking about nerdy things, drawing, and probably tea. Um, not that all of those are connected. They're not. But those are the type of things that we're going to be talking about. Uh, so make sure to come back Tuesday and uh, check out David and me on Relinked. Very happy for that. Also, if you like what I do, jump onto my Behance and subscribe and or buy me a cup of cup of Joe. Buy me a cup of tea. <laughs> Rub it in my face. Is David your cousin? David is my long, he's like a third generation, generational cousin, like third, third removed. Um, we, I didn't know I, I'm part uh, British. No idea, so. Okay, uh, I'm ready. My David Cousins fan t-shirt has been delivered now. You didn't say where you got it, Oliver. Where'd you buy it from? Jess, thank you. It was an awesome stream. So cool, so much fun. Thanks, Sean. Thanks, sweet peeps in chat. Hanging around with you is always so joyful. Salty tea for salty Sean. Oh, don't, don't get me started start I will be <clears throat> um I'll have a a microwave tea ready not oh okay here we go how have I not seen this page make art not content love it I hope Vikram doesn't mind an extra edit in the Discord. Oh, what did you do? Hold on. <laughs> what did you do? Where did you put it? Ah, now I'm nervous. Stream chat. <laughs> Ah. <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> oh. Okay. Um. <clears throat> thank you for that link, Oliver. <laughs> Good job, Devlin. <sighs> Join me in a couple hours with Jack Watson, where we will be maybe working on a Mad Libs in Firefly, where we will not be working on tacos, <clears throat> nor badgers, nor spiders today. That's funny. Okay, everybody, I hope you have a great rest of the day. I learned it from watching you. Oh, I hope I hope you all have a good rest of the day. Thank you for spending your time with me. For those of you that submitted photos in my Discord, thank you. Um, I will try to get to more of them at a later date. And uh, I hope to see you all in chat. If not on the Discord, I'll see you on Adobe Live. Have a wonderful day, everybody. Stay safe, stay creative, and just be nice. Devlin, I'm looking at you. Bye, Bruce's mom. Bye, everybody. <laughs>